Namaste. This is the Guju 101 and I'm going to teach you how to wear a dhoti. Now this is my third method. Um, this is a, a method, the very traditional method. Um, it's not really exact because this is a smaller cloth than what you would usually wear, get. Um, this is when I was like eight years old so bear with me on how small it is. Um, one moment, please. Trying to fix something on my computer. So, bear with me. Um. So yeah, this is the traditional way, just a little smaller, because this is when I was like eight years old, so the dhoti is pretty small. Okay, so first you're going to want to tie your dhoti. So you'll have this part right here, which is to my left, and the longer part is to my right. See, the shorter part, longer part. So it will go like this. Now, for the shorter part, you get the shorter part and you take it over. You take it. Well, actually, this is method one. So just leave that. Um, take the corner. See this corner? Take it. Take it underneath. And it's going to be kind of high. This is the method that my grandfather taught me when he was in the um, sugar cane fields before he got rich. So this is the way that the men used to wear the dhoti when they did the work. Then you need to take the longer side and you plait it. You um, accordion style fold it or the proper way you plait it. There you go. See? It's plaited, and you take that underneath to take it, <clears throat> and you put it in the back. So both of these, you take and you put it in the back right here. Now, you even it out. And there you go. See, this is when they bend down, they had to work, and they pulled it above their knees. Like that. See? So that's method one. Now, when he became rich, this was the style that they started using. So, undo all the plaiting on the longer side. Now you plaid the short side. See, it's only plaited a little bit. See, it's only plaited like about one. Then you take the longer side and you plaid over it. So, I'm gonna do that now. Now, this was the Gujarati style way of how they, you know, how they draped it. For the rich men. So, you would take it, see here, you take the longer side, you take the corner, the corner here, and you put it underneath the leg. So now you pull it, you pull it, see, pull it like that, then you tuck it in the back. Now, a trick that my grandfather taught me is that if you want to equal it out you take this side and you just pull it so then you even it out on your ankles see so you even it out on your ankles and there you have it dirty second style 
This is Gujarati rich style. Now, um, when they were farmers, it would be very rude to walk in front of a a woman, a female, with the dhoti at your knees because you're showing your knees. So they would, um, they would do it this style. So, you know, it's not showing. So I'm just evening it out. It's kind of, you could see my leg, because it's short. The dhoti is not that long for me, but bear with me if, you know, you're actually doing something, blah, 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 kick. It's not going to be able to be, vi it's not going to be visible if you have a dhoti for your actual size. This is when I was like eight, so. Then, the style that I showed you with. From the start, take the plaiting out. You take the shorter side, see? And you put it underneath the leg. Now, don't take the corner like the knee one. You just take a side. And, well, you're supposed to have a partner with this, or you could do it yourself. Um, I forgot the actual method on how you fold it properly, but it's supposed to lie flat right here, but just bear with me right now. Um, just tuck it in the back like that. And you can equal it out like that. The method I showed you. Then you just plait it. And there you have it. This is the traditional Indian style. See, equal it out. Now usually this would be, uh, if you've seen a sari, the plat, um, the plaids in the front, it would be like that, except it goes around, you know. And then usually they would go like this and fold it fancy, um, there's a guy on YouTube, um, I forgot what his name was, but he does a perfect style of the traditional. Um, he's white, but that's okay, I mean, it doesn't matter. He did it better than I did, so it can prove that any race can do this, and it's pretty easy. So, see? This, if you, um, go to stores, um, in California, there's a little India called Pioneer, it's in Artesia. And usually, when you go to the stores, the fancy stores that sell these dhotis, they sell it in this style. Because it's the most traditional Indian style that they have for dhotis. Um, so, you know, this is a style that, of course, they would sell. So, I hope this helped you in tying your dhoti. And a little fact, um, Mahatma Gandhi wore the dhoti in the short style that I showed you. Um, my, both of my grandpas showed me their styles, but this was, uh, these were the three that I really liked. Um, when I went to India, um, I wore the short style because it's really hot there. And plus my grandfather wanted to show me how he worked but when he was poor. So, you know, of course. Then when we had, um, guests, we, I did the second style. And if it was more formal, I would do the third style. So, I just hope this helps you out. Um, another fact is before sadis were worn, the women actually used to wear dhotis. But it used to be in like a dress kind of style. Um, so, yeah. It, it would used to be like this, kind of. Except, you know, this... Oh, this front plaid would be, like, wrapped around and, you know, something like that. But it kind of looks like a sari if you look like this. But, you know, it has this part. But, you know, that's how it was. Um, another thing is dhotis are usually seven yards long. And a sari is usually nine to eight. So that kind of tells you that scenario. Um, usually with the dhoti, you fold it in half and you do all this. Um, but since I just said this was a kid's dhoti that my grandfather 
Actually, this was my grandfather's. So he has kind of gold in here. And it's gray. Well, it looks bluish, but it's gray and red. This was the one that he actually um, got engaged with. But yeah, see, it's pretty nice. It's traditional. Um, this was when he, well, actually, he wasn't engaged in this. He turned into a man in this. I guess that's what you would say. Um, so yeah, this is for eight-year-olds, so it's not that long. Um, so yeah. So this is going to be the end of the video, and I hope this helped you. Thanks.